Good day. I am Reynaldo Bico, director of IJM Manila. Online threats are on the rise during the pandemic. This includes the online sexual exploitation of children. IJM focuses on the trafficking of children for the creation of child sexual exploitation material, including live streaming abuse. This is a crime that leaves child victims with devastating trauma. In IJM supported cases, more than half of victims are 12 years old or younger. It is also sad to note that most of the traffickers are parents, close relatives, or trusted neighbors of the child victims. This trafficking crime is mostly committed in the privacy of the home, making it difficult to spot. But robust community reporting can help end this crime. Let's be on the lookout for red flags. This include unexplainable income in a short period of time, multiple money transfers with no known relative working abroad, multiple social media accounts with connections to dubious foreigners and minors going in and out of the house for no explainable reason, especially at odd hours. Each of these red flags alone does not guarantee online sexual exploitation of children is happening. But if you notice the signs together, you may want to reach out to authorities for deeper investigation. We can be better today for our Filipino children by being vigilant against abuses committed towards them and by reporting immediately when we know of such crime is happening for timely intervention. Maraming salamat po.